So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from Australia. Today I'm going to share with you uh, a VLV360 with a Jetty radio, a DC, a DS16. So we're going to use this radio on this particular VLV uh, excavator. Uh, this excavator belongs to Peter in New South Wales in Australia and we've just modified this excavator with the, uh, with the Jetty radio and we'll run through some sequence of how to start it and um, some few other things about the radio itself. So using a 3S LiPo battery, uh, first of all we'll plug, we'll start the radio first because that's the best thing to do is always to start the radio. So you all you do is you hit the, the, the button up here, the screen will come up and you want to transmit and you just say yes. So now the radio will be seeking the receiver. We've already bound the receiver, so we don't have to do that. Now, okay, you heard those three beeps in there. It goes beep, 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 there's a pause, and then there's a beep. That's pretty much to tell you that the EAC is now safe and it's ready to arm itself. Uh, hence, you can now go to the next step of actually starting the hydraulic pump. Now, if you don't hear those beeps, um, then the excavator would not start. So it's very important to actually wait till you hear those three beeps before you go ahead. Now on this particular uh, radio, the setup is pretty simple. Here is the dial for the hydraulic pump. Now this must be wound all the way counterclockwise. It's very important because that is the fail safe position for the hydraulic pump. If it's not wound back, your pump will not start and then you'll be wondering why the hydraulics is not kicking in. Now you'll see the hydraulics kicking. Okay, so this one is used um, for the hydraulics. Uh, we've got two slides over here on either side. So these slides are actually for the tracks and you can actually see the motion of the tracks. Now it is quite sensitive. So um, you have to be careful when you actually drive the tracks because this thing moves you see, you can't you can have fine tuning on it. It's, it can be controlled pretty finely if you really want. But if you go pretty rapid, it will actually uh, it will jerk, and it can be pretty fast. Now the car body rotation is set on on this one on the left joystick, and then you have uh, all the hydraulics or the boom bucket on stick on the two joysticks up here. So let's crank the radio up. Uh, I'll take this mat off so we can see and see some demonstration on the hydraulics itself. So let's push the machine into focus so it's in screen. Okay, uh, we'll crank the hydraulics using this particular dial. You can see the you can see the very smooth operation on this particular uh, excavator. It also comes down to um, operator, hydraulics, what kind of servos. All these kind of things do add for a very smooth operation. So, um, as you can see, uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty good machine. You can buy this particular machine without any of the hydraulics inside it if you wish to actually fit the German hydraulics. It's available on our website. You just buy the basic. Uh, you get all the cylinders. You'll get all the hoses. Um, you won't get the control valves, and you won't get the pump. You'll get the electronics for the tracks. And you'll get pretty much what you see. The only thing that will not be included is pretty much the hydraulic pump and the valves. Uh, the hoses will be actually coiled, so you'll have to fit the hoses yourself onto it. Now, since we're here, there's a couple of things I'll show you uh, on the internals of the machine.
So obviously we've got the receiver um, up here. We've got a relief valve, which can be adjusted to whatever pressure you're seeking. Uh, this is the actual oil tank. You have um, uh, a filler cap up here. You can open this and fill the oil. Now, a very important thing I want to show you is you can probably see the line a bit milky. So if you're ever seeing this line milky, it means the oil is less in the tank, which is the, exactly what's happening right now. I haven't filled the tank um, completely. So the system, the pump is trying to draw more and hence you're getting cavitation and hence you can see the lines clearly milky. Now, uh, the line should be clear and translucent if it's full of oil, which it's not in this case, right? Now, um, going a little bit more further, the transparent or the translucent lines are actually return lines, hence there's no pressure inside it. It's basically the oil that is being sucked from the pump, no work is being performed, and the oil is coming back into, ta into the tank. And hence, uh, it's low pressure, and hence it can withstand the low pressure. Um, on this particular um, setup, let me spin this over. So you got the high pressure line from the pump, which actually goes into the valve block, right? And then from the valve block, it actually returns back through this line so that you can see the system pressure uh, on the gauge. Let's bring it up and focus. So you can see up here, there is, this line actually comes from the valve block shows you the system pressure on the gauge and then from the gauge it actually goes into another relief valve where you can actually adjust the pressure so this basically spins and you can control how much of oil should be going back into the system right see and this is the return back again back into the into the tank so if you open this maximum oil will return back into the tank and you won't have any pressure the more you tighten this it'll keep most of the oil back into this line which means this is coming from the valve block and from here it actually returns into the tank. So if you wind this down or if you tighten this, all the oil will stay in this line. It won't go back into the tank. So that's basically um, what the mushroom air filter does on the top. And then you've got a second relief valve uh, on the inside up here also where you can adjust. So there's two of them. Uh, plenty of room inside this particular machine for a big size battery. This is... Uh, a newer valve block. It's an upgraded version. As you can see, the old one used to be uh, completely of metal. Now you've got an aluminium CNC machine housing, and then you've got all the valve blocks uh, up here, and then you've got the servos that connected. So you've got three servos for three valve blocks up there. Pretty good, strong, robust machine. I've done a few other reviews on this particular machine. If you hear a chirp or a beep in the background, uh, it's coming from the radio. Let me just bring that into focus here. Um, and basically what the radio is telling us is that it's lost uh, connection to the receiver because we just pulled the battery out of the excavator. So if you hear this chirp, uh, Peter, you know that uh, it's because the battery is not hooked in and your radio is powered on and hence the radio or the transmitter is seeking the receiver from the excavator. So a quick small video on this particular machine. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, uh, email us at info at CSMI. You can buy this particular machine or uh, any of the other excavators from our website. Uh, and you can also buy this particular machine without any hydraulics. So you can put your custom hydraulics uh, inside this. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.